Hey everyone, welcome back along to my channel today. I am out on my paddle board today. I've got my deck bag loaded with my 045 and a few bits. Uh, I'm going to follow on my series of uh, action pinhole shots. I've done one a few weeks back on my longboard skateboard and I'm going to try a few out on the river today. So paddle along a bit further and see how we get on. So I've got with me my red paddle uh, deck bag, which is completely waterproof. I've loaded the stuff up in these little kids' uh, lunch boxes, which works really well. So I've got my 045. Uh, that's a super wide setting. I've got it loaded with Ilford Delta today. Um, <clears throat> so I've got a few shots in mind. Um, I was gonna do this on the sea, but I'm glad I didn't, because sorting all this out, it's a bit choppy on the sea today. And I'm kind of just drifting all over the place, so it would have been a bit of a nightmare sorting all this out. So I'm getting a few shots set up and um, talk you through them as we go. Okay, so first shot set up. <clears throat> I'm going for a portrait long view straight up the front of the board. I've just got it mounted straight onto the top of this tripod just to keep everything still and stop anything moving and it's completely flat then. Strapped it down, it's probably falling off. Then I've got about two and a half second exposure for this. So I'm gonna try and pick a little bit of speed up, open it up and get a nice gliding motion on that. I'm going to do a couple like this, probably one here and one from the front as well, if I can try and figure out how to do it from the front. Um, but yeah, we'll get them. Let's see how we go. So ideally with this one, I want to try and get it with me standing, but I've got to open the shutter, stand, two and a half seconds, close it. So I'm going to probably slightly overshoot, which will be fine. I haven't actually got a clue how long the last one was. I kind of lost count. Um, trying to balance and concentrate at the same time. Multi-talk soon. 
Um, I need a longer cable already, so I think. So I'm going to try this. I've got to stand back a little bit further because it's where I've had to mount it. I don't think it's going to get me all in. Um, so I might fall in. Hopefully not. Let's give this a shot. So for the next couple, I'm gonna try a few of the GoPro Jaws clamp. This is an absolutely brilliant clamp, especially for pinhole cameras. Um, super light, super strong. So I'm gonna get that mounted on and uh, try a couple of shots on the, um, on the paddle. Um, get all that set up, so we go. So for the next two, I'm going to mount them on the paddle. I'm going to do one looking up, one looking down. I'm going to keep my hand uh, as close to the pinhole camera as I can, <clears throat> as can. So it's quite a big part in the picture. And then I'll flip the camera around and try it again the other way. Uh, I'm not quite sure what will work best. I think looking up, it's just going to be me holding a pole. It might not be very interesting, but I think looking down, depending on how long the exposure will be on that, uh, you might get some of the board in as well and kind of partly work it out, but give them both a try, see how they go. I'm in the shallows and I can't paddle back out. There's a bopping great big wooden wooden camera strapped to the paddle. Bloody stupid, stupid idea. So looking down, I've got about a three, four second exposure for this one, so it'll be a little bit longer. Um, but hopefully with that, it might get a bit more of the board in. Uh, might actually kind of figure work out what I'm actually doing in the photo. Um, so yeah, we'll set this up and we'll get going.
Absolute perfect way to start the morning. Love it. Would have been nicer on the sea, but doing all the pinhole camera and stuff on the sea, I think I would have been it would have been a nightmare today. But um so flat on the river. Absolutely lovely. So my last two shots I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one with the selfie stick. <clears throat> I really like that one on the um skateboard. It probably won't come out as well. Um because I had a nice bit of uh, movement on the skateboard when I was doing that. But I'm going to try it on this. Um, and then I'm going to try the um, the head camera shot. Which really didn't work on the uh, skateboard. But I'm going to try it out on here. I'm going to try and keep a bit stiller this time. Um, so yeah, we're going to set them up. we we'll do a selfie stick first. And I'm going to get my head strap on and mount the camera to my head. Uh, give that one a shot as well. So, last couple, and hopefully they'll come out all right. Had a little bit of a wobble on on that, but I didn't want to go too fast in case I started falling in. Looking up with that, it really wasn't great, but be interesting to see how it comes out. Right, we're going to set the last shot up, go for a bit more of a paddle, and hopefully, hopefully we've got some good shots this morning. everyone so everyone that is it i really hope you've enjoyed the pictures in the video again today um make sure you check out the link below i'll be putting all the photos in there as well so you can go see them a bit more i'll also link below the previous um time i've done this on my longboard skateboard as well and i will definitely be doing it again with something similar um so make sure you subscribe for that i'd really appreciate it and if you've just enjoyed this and you like the pinhole stuff you know why not follow along and um join me as I head out here and there um, next week or next couple of weeks whenever I get a chance I've actually got a new pinhole camera uh, so I'm gonna let the 045 have a, a bit of time off um, I've got a Holger wide 
so that's going to be a bit of fun uh, so i'll be getting that out and about um so make sure you tune in for that and i'll uh, see you all next time i'm out and about thanks for watching